What's up guys, Hong Lee and OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. Mm, okay, why do I have my shirt off um, in the past couple of videos? Well, because my AC broke and uh, it's hot as shit in here. So I had this off and also I you know, make multiple videos at the same time. So that way, yo, you batch them, right? Like if you just make one every single time, you have to set up the camera and all that it gets a little bit, uh, it's more time consuming than if you just batch them. Anyways, that's for those of you guys who uh, care and <laughs> But some of you guys like my rambling. So anyways, this video today, we're going to talk about uh, how to practice two martial arts at a time. Okay, so this question is from our friend Song Kwok. Wait, I hope I'm not pronouncing that. Yeah, Song Kwok, right? So Song Kwok wrote to me and asked me, is it possible to train in two martial arts at the same time? And if so, how would you do it? Uh, I'm interested in doing judo and boxing and I really couldn't pick which I should do first. So I thought if it would be a good idea to do them at the same time, uh, but I don't know how I would manage both of them in my life and would like to know how you would manage both. <clears throat> okay, it's a great question. And hmm, it is possible to train multiple martial arts at the same time. Okay, ideally you would want a, those two arts to be in the same club, in an ideal world. You would have everything in one place. So ideally you would go to like an MMA club. That would be, you know, you would have everything you need there. Or like a, a MMA type of club, because MMA uh, is um, a rule set, a sport. And MMA means mixed martial arts, so you have everything there. So for a MMA, I, sorry, blah, 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 a MMA club, okay, um, would imply that you're doing striking and grappling, and then your striking usually involves, uh, you know, boxing, Muay Thai, or kickboxing for MMA, of course. And then you would have uh, for your grappling, you would have wrestling. Um, you would have uh, typically you would have wrestling. Then you would have uh, BJJ. You wouldn't have judo for the most part and yeah but in your case if you're talking about judo and wrestling i'm guessing that these clubs are at two separate places because if they were at the same club you probably wouldn't be asking this question you would be like well just show up look at the schedule show up okay how would you do it um in terms of frequency, so I don't have enough information, it's not too clear, but let me do my best to give you as much um, information uh, as I can, you know, and I'm gonna make a lot of assumptions here. So I'm assuming that um, you want to do um, both at the same time. And wait, let me read the question again. Sorry, I just had a little uh, brain, you know, when you forget something. Blank, sorry, there you go, blank. Uh, is it possible to train two martial arts at the same time? And if so, how would you do it? I'm interested in doing judo and boxing and I really couldn't pick which I should do first. So I thought it would be a good idea to do them at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> it depends on your goal, right? If your goal, like you know how you said, okay, I want to do, I couldn't pick between judo and boxing. So I want to see if I could do both of them at the same time. Mm, well, what's the goal? Is the goal, I'm guessing the goal is probably to be like a well-rounded fighter, to have some form of grappling and, you know, and then to have some form of striking. So definitely, um, if it would be more in that context, so it would be more for like general uh, ability, you know, or like round off, round your abilities for like self-defense and just to practice martial arts because it's fun, right? Uh, then yeah, I would say do them both at the same time. Now, how would you do that? I'm guessing the clubs aren't like they don't offer it in the same place so you would do i would say two times judo a week two times um boxing a week that's how i would do it so that would be four trainings a week and that would essentially be enough uh two times would be the minimum for each uh um art right one time boxing a week man it's gonna take you forever two times good stuff Judo, same thing. And judo is pretty rough on the body too. So you probably only want to do two to begin with. 
as you build up and you get stronger, you can kind of decide which one you prefer doing. And also it's gonna depend on your schedule, right? And which one is closer and all that. But ideally you would do two times judo a week, two times boxing a week, and then you'll be a machine. If you're able to do this for, uh, you know, for a year or two, man. And sometimes like, let's say you get hurt in judo, then you could just do boxing for a little bit. Like I had a good, I have a good friend who, when he got busted up, when he hurt his knee in judo, he went off and he did, uh, uh, he did boxing for, <laughs> for like a year. I think he did it for two years. Yeah, so he came out a really good boxer, by the way. Like I boxed him, so so yeah, I, I know. And so there you go. So ideally two times a week, and you could always do a little bit more of judo, uh, three times judo, or three and then two times boxing, or three times boxing and two times judo. You know, depending on schedule and depending on what maybe if you have a preference because. Maybe at one point you'll find that you, um, uh, you're you getting better at one very fast so you might, and the other one's lagging behind so you wanna catch that up so you add another class if there's you know availabilities and vice versa. Or you might like one a lot, you know, like for example, you might like judo a lot or you might like boxing a lot more. So you would do boxing three times a week and then judo two times a week. But you gotta keep it till two times a week. Um, and that would be my suggestion. And that's how I would do it, right? So I would plan my schedule accordingly. Uh, I don't know how far these clubs are away from each other, from where you are, from where you work and all that, but I would map it out so that uh, it would be as efficient as possible. Uh, so that way you would, uh, you would stick to it, right? Because if it's not, if it's too time consuming in terms of commute time just to get there, you know, it's, uh, it might, um, well, it might discourage you, you know, over the, the long run, but I hope that's not the case, but that's my two cents on the subject. I hope that helped if it didn't. And if, uh, I didn't cover anything, there's something missing. Just send me another, uh, question, uh, song and I'll, I'll be glad to, to answer it for you. And yeah, so that's it guys. All right, guys in the comments, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Oh, share the video. Helps me grow. If you guys need coaching, uh, links are all down below on how to reach me and all that. And we could talk about that. I, I help guys get into shape for, you know, uh, well, for life really, but uh, for martial arts also. Love you guys. Peace.